A great line from a popular Frank Sinatra song goes, For it's hard, you will find to be narrow of mind, if you are young at heart. Kim Manley from Spring Hill, Florida is a beautiful example of this advice from Old Blue Eyes. I work from home. I run a, a staffing company, so I fly back and forth to Michigan and New Orleans. I do all the bookkeeping, the payroll, the billing, um, hobbies. I love to get out and walk. I, I can't sit still, so I like to go places. I love to go shopping. I love to go to the mall. I coached cheerleading for many years, so I've always been active um, until my back. I just am a very active person. I don't want to be my age, I guess is what I would say. So I try to do a lot with my 22-year-old. We do a lot together, keep up, go shopping, go out, go dancing. Um, try to be young at heart. But Kim had been quietly fighting back pain for many years. After her move to Florida, she began to look for help. When I first started having pain years ago, I was living in Michigan. Um, I worked for the steel mill for the big three. I was noticing that every morning when I got up, I couldn't get out of bed. I would ache until I got in the shower. That was the start of it. But I thought, oh, I'm getting old. But it was getting worse and worse and worse. Uh, three years ago when we moved down here, um, we moved into the house and moved some furniture around. I thought I pulled something in my back. Um, and it just started getting worse and worse to the point where I couldn't sleep. I would end up in a fetal position on my back, on my stomach, on the floor, stretching my legs, trying yoga, until I started going to doctors and saying, help me. The first doctor I went to uh, was in Brooksville. Um, immediately, they did uh, pressure point shots and wanted to do five shots and said these would help. They lasted two weeks. I felt good for two weeks. I felt like I could do jumping jacks and then it was worse than before. Um, then they sent me to physical therapy four times a week for eight weeks. It was so bad the first time that I couldn't even walk again. So they had me coming back four times a week just to go in a tension rack and stretch me, put ice, send me home, go back the next day, do the same thing. Until the end, they said, there's nothing we can do. Having only been made worse by physical therapy, she returned to her physician in hopes that there would finally be a solution. Went back to the doctors and um, he said, well, let's try epidurals. You do not want surgery. Surgery is no guarantee. It will ever fix you and you could be worse off. So that is something you do not want. So I walked away from that, came home. M my life was just getting worse and worse and worse to where my husband had to help me out of bed. I couldn't stand and do dishes. The, the pain in the bottom of my back just shot down my leg on fire. The pain that I had was so hard to decide where it was. It sat so low in the bottom of my back and it came around down my legs, the side of my legs, all the way down to my ankles. I couldn't tell whether it was right side or left side because it was so bad, but it seemed like the right side was worse. Um, I'd stand over the sink to try to do dishes and in two minutes, I, w I was back on a heating pad. I, I just, I had no clue, you know, what it was. I, I started thinking, you know, the worst thing, of course, you think the worst thing because it was just getting worse and worse. And when you can't walk anymore, you know, the first thing you want to do is, I've had enough, let's go to emergency room. That's where we ended up. She shares more of her experience in the hospital, a situation the Bonatti Spine Institute hears about routinely from surgical guests. The emergency room, of course, wanted to check my stomach. <laughs> they did CAT scans on my stomach. They d did, you know, x-rays on everything they could. They did blood work. Um, and at the end, and, and, and while I was sitting there on the, the gurney, I was like, can you please give me something for pain, please? And they were like, well, you know, we'll go ask somebody. They give me muscle relaxers. And they, of course, I, it didn't even touch me. So after spending hours in there, then they said, well, we'd like to keep you overnight. We'd like to check your heart. And I said, no, there's nothing wrong with my heart. I want to go home. So I signed out against my will because I, I knew at that point they were just running every test on me possible. So we came home that weekend. We went to dinner Sunday, driving to Sam's on the beach, seeing Dr. Bonatti sign. And my husband said, I'm tired of hearing this, you know, call him. So picked up the phone that Monday and um, talked to a girl immediately. Dr. Bonatti calls me back himself. And within a five minute conversation, he said, oh, yeah, I think I know what's going on. I think I can help you. The muscle relaxers she was prescribed were never going to help. 
as Kim was suffering from a severely pinched nerve. To correct this compression, she had a multi-level procedure from her L3 to S1 vertebrae. First time we spoke with Dr. Liss, um, he, you know, brought all the stuff out, you know, hung up all the x-rays, they draw on it. Next thing I knew, Dr. Bonatti come in himself and went into more detail what was going on with the stenosis and what had happened and said, yeah, we, we can fix you. They were very thorough because I was very nervous, um, but they explained everything to a T. I, I knew exactly what they were going to be doing. And next thing you know, I was in surgery early that following Monday. When I went into the uh, room to have the surgery, the lady said, you know, lay down on your stomach, face down in the hole. She said, we're going to give you something to make you relax, but we'll be talking to you. The next thing I know, my husband was standing at my head and they were, you know, checking my nerves. Can you feel this? Kim, can you feel this? Can you feel this? Everything was good. I didn't have no, no pain. It was like, wow, I'm awake and it's gone. I felt great. They wheeled me into recovery. And um, I, I, at that point I was awake, I asked for coffee. They gave me a couple of cups of coffee and I said, can I go home? They said, can, can you walk? We need you to get up and walk down the hallway back. And I said, yeah. I walked down the hallway, walked back, can I go home? I came home and it, it, every, I think everybody was shocked. Like, really, you had surgery today? I had a drain tube. I was at my desk doing payroll for 200 employees, worked till night. Got up, went to bed. Because of the tailored approach to treatment at the Bonatti Spine Institute and patented tools used in surgery, there is significantly less post-op pain and as a result, a fast return to work and everyday activities. They told you to walk here, you know, wear your brace and walk, you know, a good half hour, two 20 minute sessions. And that was Tuesday. We had already bought tickets to go to the Country 500 concert, which is a lot of walking. and. We left Thursday and went to that concert. I bounced right out, the pain was gone, and I was back to being very active, doing what I normally do, walking, you know, playing with the dog, shopping. Sleeping, for me, at that point was so much better because I was so tired from not sleeping. I would roll over in the middle of the night, I'd wake up through the night. My husband had to help me out of bed because I just couldn't get out of bed. I bought new mattresses, new pillows, propped me up, and I had the best sleep. After that, I started sleeping through the whole night. I do not wake up anymore in pain. Now Kim's life has changed for the better. I think that people get scared when they hear back surgery and they don't know what to think. And these other doctors, they just give you this pill or that pill, or like for me, I'd have five injection shots at once. And they just give you a runaround. Those shots don't fix you. There's something underneath that that is underlying that needs to be fixed. And one of the questions I ask is what is the guarantee? I think that's everybody's big question. He's got such a 98% high rate that this is gonna be fixed. Okay, and he fixed it. And I tell people, don't be scared, go there. I've sent people there and, and I will continue to send people to them because it's, it's amazing. The before and the after, the pain that you go through and then one little surgery on that table, you get up feeling like a new person that day. For me, it was just amazing.